like it's 50 in here. I don't know if this shows me, but I feel like it's 50. I don't know. Halfway to 100. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Usual Know Podcast Season 2, Episode 50. Round of applause, please. I'm not kidding. It's stuck. How do I get it out? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Eastern Podcast Season 2, Episode 50. Welcome back. My foot is in utter dismay right now. Guys, it feels so great to be back in this podcasting studio talking to the best fan base in the world. There's hair in my mouth. There's so much happening at the beginning of this episode. Guys. You know it's a new episode. It's episode 50, halfway to 100. Thank you guys so much for allowing us to get this far, but some things don't change. If you're new here or if you haven't already, you look below, you can see that subscribe button, is it? Pressed, you're wrong. If you look even more below that and you see that comment section is fulfilled with your name, guess what? Even more, I'll go ahead and fill that out. Get your good karma. Guys, we have some big, big updates at the intro of this podcast. We are officially on Snapchat. Round of applause, Snapchat! Yes, yes, we are officially on Snapchat. We get messages all the time. Peyton, Cam, what's your Snapchat? Can I add your Snapchat? We've been keeping it real private, real low key, but guess what? Now it's public. We made a Snapchat so we can add all of you add us on Snapchat. The link will be the one of the first links in the description below as of everything else. Patreon, Discord, merch. But hey, go ahead and add that Snapchat. We're trying to get more ways to get in touch with you guys. For y'all to be involved in the podcast. We thought Snapchat would be a great way. Everybody loves a good old snappy chat. So go ahead and add us on Snapchat. The link is in the description below. Also, shout out. Whenever we were in L.A., we didn't talk about this. Unless you're in the Koala Club, then you would have saw it in the L.A. vlog. But we were on the Under the Influence podcast. We did a collab podcast with them. So many of you guys were saying, I love this podcast called Under the Influence. And y'all didn't already know, I'm a big fan of Under the Influence podcast. So whenever we went to L.A., we did a huge collab episode. It is a hilarious, hilarious episode. I've told things that I've never told before. Cam exposed things about me. Cam's hips were hurting. We had some nice nectar seltzer. It was a beautiful time. Shout out to Under the Influence. That episode is live right now if you want to see some more videos of us. Also, over on, there's so much happening. This is why I understand why y'all like this podcast. There's always something happening. And it's because of you guys. Y'all are the best in the world, and y'all allow us to do this great stuff. Also, over on the Koala Club right now, episode two of 10 Minute Talks with Mama Liv is live right now. Round of applause, 10 Minute Talks with Mama Liv. <laughs> y'all love that new series that we have put out. Mama Liv is killing it. Episode two, it she killed it. Um, this is the first episode where she actually read y'all's uh, questions and answered them and her answers were so honest, so real, and, and hopefully so helpful. Also a little bit of humor sprinkled into there. So shout out to Mama Liv and shout out to Tim and his talks with Mama Liv and shout out to the Koala Club. Shout out to the Discord fam that's watching this in the watch party that types in there every day and communicates with each other and it's formed relationships, friendships. Hey, I see some of y'all flirting in the Discord, all right, with each other. I want to find who's going to be the first Discord fam relationship. That I, I will personally, if y'all get married, I will personally ordain you. I will be in a nice tuxedo with my legs out. I will wear shorts, especially if it's in the summertime, because I will be a sweaty mess at your wedding, and I'll be stinking up the altar, all right? But I want to see the first Discord fam relationship. Um, I, I, I love y'all so much. There's big, big things coming for the You Should Know podcast that we can't talk about yet, but I just want to say before it even happens, thank you so much. We get, we're get we getting so many new family members here every single day, and thank you to all the day ones that have got us here and are going to continue to progress this forward, and shout out to everybody that's new and is, uh, is joining the rocket ship while it's starting to take off. We love you. We love you so much. We can't even put into words, but we got co-host Cam in the building. It's going to be a beautiful episode today we love you so much now on to the rest of the podcast spring has sprung and our friends at manscaped have the best tools for some spring cleaning they've already helped men everywhere tidy up all the nooks and crannies of their body's basement but this year manscaped can help them get the perfect presentation on that beautiful face with the new beard hedger pro kit make sure all the men in your life look their best this spring using code psh to get 20 percent off plus 
free shipping at Manscaped. We go everywhere. People are starting to come up to us. A person, when we go and do these guest spots on podcasts, whenever we do different hostings, they're like, Peyton, Cam, y'all's beards are so tidy. You know why? The Beard Hedger Pro Kit. The kit starts off with the Beard Hedger, a waterproof cordless trimmer with a rotary wheel that has 20, 20, 20 hair cutting links, all with one guard so no more messy drawers full of add-ons cluttering the bathroom save 20 percent off and free shipping with code psh at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off and free shipping with the code psh at manscaped.com help yourself achieve the cleanest beard look in the game manscaped.com use promo code psh at checkout for 20 percent off and free shipping thank you to manscaped and thank you to everybody that uses manscaped now back to the rest of the episode the you should know podcast hey whoa hey look at that thing look at that thing running around Put it to the ground. My name's Peyton. I am Okay, I can't I can't freestyle forever. Oh, there's this legendary kilt dance. Ooh, we got co-host Cam back in the studio. Cam, how you feeling today? The audio listeners cannot hear you. I was doing a lot of hand You, you know, heard that. we get you just as many uh like a, this is audio. No, this is not a challenger. You we get just as many audio listeners as we do video. Missed me this time. You tried to. Bricks, huh? You tried to. Give me two. You tried to. Cam, we got calls. Cam, back in the studio. How you doing, bud? And that wasn't a I'm flinch. doing good. Are you nuts? You flinched your foot. I did. I a weave. That's a weave. Not I a flinch. Went like this, and you were like this. I could tell what kind of kid you were in school. You're the one that just didn't go by the rules. I want to do this. I'm gonna do this and hit people. If I go like this, you hit people. If I go like this and you claim, er, weave. That's flinching. You would have hit my foot if I didn't move. Yes or no? No. Are you nuts? You were trying to miss my foot. That's the whole point of getting someone to flinch. You weren't if trying to get me like to this, flinch. If I go like this, Cam, I'm never gonna oh punch you in the goodness, face. But if I go like this and you go. That's oh my literally goodness gracious. Oh my goodness you try gracious. To get people to oh my goodness gracious. Because if I connect with you, then we're just fighting. Put that on Ruby. That's on Ruby. That you tried, you didn't try to 100% hit your foot. 100% was never going to hit your foot. You're lying, Saka. I just put Saka. it on Ruby the Janelle Saka. Meredith Grey. Saka. I'll put it on oh, Max Well, you, Luke well, you better Kennedy get well. the taxidermy ready. Oh, you would like a good old taxidermy trip, wouldn't you? You're <laughs> sick, buddy. How are you doing, bub? I'm not, I'm not forgiving that. I'm doing good, though. How are you? I'm, I'm great. That was such a lame answer. Give me a little more than that. Wait, how are you doing today, bud? Dude, I'm doing good, dog! <laughs> I'm doing great, man! Is that better? Yeah, it was a lot better. It sounds like I'm stranded in like Nevada. Yeah. Help! Remember? <laughs> Sorry. You, I have a big fear. I don't. I didn't know that the desert got cold. Very cold. I did not know Extremely that. Extremely cold. Yeah. Nothing to hide around either, so nothing to stop the windage. Because in the cartoons, they don't get cold. Ah, it's cartoons. I, but, but what else education do you go off of as a kid? Discovery Channel. Oh, I was the weird <laughs> kid that watched how the pyramids were built you didn't. on the Discovery. You I did. did. No, you didn't. I did. No, the most you did as a kid was probably uh, an 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 animal planet. When you watch the animal planet, I when you watch the hyenas, never watched animal when you watch the hyenas get on the gazelles. We've just started, Kim. You're already not talking. <laughs> we know watch hyenas. Oh, yeah. Y'all love that. I don't know why, but you love this. <laughs> The crossed leg lean action. Y'all eat that up. All right. Wait. There was those were all like B minuses. So you didn't watch. What's up, bud? You didn't watch a hyena channel when you were a kid. Definitely not. There's no such thing as a hyena channel. However, I did not watch the Animal Planet channel. Why? That uh, had some exclusives on hyenas. Uh, at some points, uh, never really was drawn to it. To be honest, you didn't like, like aminos. No, I didn't like seeing the uh, the carcasses and the in the mm. natural selection and I, I just didn't like seeing all that like how a cute little gazelle has like nice little glazed brown eyes like my dog and then just <laughs> and then just go after it and it's no longer there. yeah I remember as I see rem but then that's the equivalent to me getting a McDouble with fries like I'm feeding myself the lion had to feed himself too I remember as a kid my brother uh we would always watch my mom would have it on it probably like Sunday mornings she would like she and we would always watch the the the, the monkeys swing from oh no no free did, that's tree very I've swung free to, uh, swing from tree to tree and then I remember there's an exterminator in yeah the what the hell it sounds like there's a someone robot is spraying the pesticides on our concrete but I remember I remember I was I was sitting on the I was sitting on the couch. My mom was sitting beside me. My brother was on the floor because he he didn't get the privileges of the couch. <laughs> His feet were too big. <laughs> I couldn't fit. Get those get those things off my couch. The fifteen wides couldn't get on the couch. 
love we love you, Preston. I haven't, I haven't seen Preston. I miss Preston. We love you, Preston. Um, so he uh, he was sitting on the floor, and we were watching. Normally, it's just monkeys yeah. swinging from vine to vine, tree swinging. to tree. And just, that was so peaceful, and it, it was so great. Do that noise again. Should I? Yeah, I like it. It was, <gasps> it was really good. You practice? No, uh, don't you? No. <laughs> I did not practice that noise. So, so ooh, like a quick little, yeah, and you got the good arm movement. Okay, you're you're some, painting a picture that's not meant to be painted. Some monkeys look like, um, like really long, like spiders. Are there spider monkeys? There are spider monkeys. Cam, just keep it by you, bro, because I can't have a conversation when you're off the mic. You can. That was an A plus pop. Some you're off the mic. Some 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 like monkeys look like like a monkey. And some some monkeys look like spiders. Some are like this. I've never seen a monkey that looked like that. But anyway, shit. Um, so my brother was sitting on the floor. I was sitting on the couch with my mom. And then so it wasn't the regular monkeys that were going from vine to vine. The monkeys. It was a gazelle. Beautiful creature. Exactly. I'm telling you, glazed brown eyes. Just it's just a nice stride going on the gazelles. Just right? elegant. Beautiful. And then all of a sudden, cheetah. Yeah, and sick. And that cheetah is going. <laughs> that cheetah is Flying. And then all of a sudden, it gets on the hind quarters. Yeah, Leg immediately dislocated. They just, they go, rips the meat out. See, what are you doing? Preston, I don't like that. Preston goes, ah! Ah! runs out of the room. Yeah, starts all crying. you hear is, because <laughs> you get it, he's running his feet. I just got super lightheaded. He's, you need to breathe. Calm down. I almost passed out. Okay, calm down. Um, and so Preston's crying in the room for 30 minutes. That's the story. <laughs> he took all that. I cried at the movie War of the Worlds. What's that movie about? It's about like aliens and whatnot. And I was watching it with my parents. Same thing. I was, it was me, mother, father was over in his side, right? In his spot, right? What are you doing? I don't like some. People sell floss, you know? <laughs> There's a little bit of beef jerky in my tooth. Did you just suck your thumb? Well, they, they had the meat on the thumb. You go like this. No, no. It's oh, pro you get rid of it. Protein. You ate it that beef jerky six hours ago. <laughs> That's not protein at this point. What's the point of it That's being a dust? It was already in my mouth. It was a hard dust. It was already in my mouth when I keep it there. Yeah, because it annoyed you clearly to the point where you had to go like this on the show. <laughs> and then you double down and go, why was, why was it in my mouth at the first place? Because you were eating it. Why not eat it again? Okay, so if I left a burger on the table okay. that you were eating nope. and it was six hours later, no. you go up and take a bite? Yes. Duh. That's, that's it's just the that bun's a little a crusty, but who cares? The bun's a brick. Yeah, it's a cinder block. Chew at this on point. it. Get some wet saliva on it. The it patty is probably green, a greenish color. That's my biggest pet peeve. I hate when people call meat pat. I hate when people call patty. I hate people. Oh, I hate when people call uh, burger meat patties. It's a patty. It makes me sick. It's a burger patty. No. What is it? Burger. It's beef. Burger beef. Can it's I beef, beef burger patty? Like if you're asking for somebody's burger beef, can I get some of that burger beef? Hey, can I have an extra patty? Can I have a double patty? Ugh, bro. Can I have a you sound like a patty melt. You sound like you're you're like. Oh, a, wait, so it's called a patty melt for what reason? Calculating responses. Oh, they melt the patty. Are you dumb or nuts? Are, are you, you nuts and dumb? Are you stupid or simple? Are your hips eighteen feet wide? Do you have a small cricket skeleton? Or do you have a rotted right toe that smells like sardines and oil mixed into a pot? Do you have feet that look like you dipped it into a can of eggshell white? Is your head the size of a hot air balloon? <laughs> okay, now you're getting, you're getting real rough. You're about to <laughs> Can you keep one thought for longer than 10 seconds? Yeah, I can. I can. Hey, how much you pay for the desk? <laughs> you suck. You're an idiot. Uh, no, it's definitely a patty. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go home. I want to go. I want to go home. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Put your put your hat put your hat back on cuz you're either going to go home or you're going to be going to your new home. <laughs> Show the camera. He's a descendant of Einstein. Okay, for the audio listeners, somebody photoshopped in the Discord a picture of my face with no hat on onto Einstein. And it's very historically accurate. It's extremely historical accurate. Um, However, man. I might be smarter than Einstein. You're not. You know the people with the craziest minds are the smartest. Exactly. And you make fun of my mind all the time. So what would that make me? You? Ignorant. No, no, no. So I'm crazy and I'm ignorant. You're crazy and you're Einstein. No, you, 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 have, sim you have simple me? thoughts, but it, there, it just goes fast. You know, you know what else we should do? What should we do? For our field day Patreon event, which is already in the works. We're, we're playing it out. It's gonna be, that's going to be a mini movie. A literal mini we're movie. We're hiring a film team and an editing team. It's finest. I mean, I'm talking like call up. 
I'm not him. It's action movies. Call up, call up Peter Jackson. Is he still? Did he croak or is he? St- oh, is he the one that made uh, Prince? Her- no, no, no. Uh, he made Lord of the Rings. He made uh, King Kong with Jack Black. The, what's the book about the sea and the trident? Uh, Percy Perseus. Jackson. Percy Jackson. Didn't he make that one? I don't know. Uh, maybe I just got Peter, Peter Jackson. Percy, Percy Jackson. Jackson. Peter Jackson's. Anyway, per- regardless, call someone up and tell them to come because this is literally going to be a short film. I think we should add a uh, a test on there. IQ test? No, no, just a simple find a general knowledge test on Google. <laughs> print three copies, one being the answer sheet, the second one being yours, <laughs> third one being mine. Okay? okay? Print three copies, we take the test, we each get in the same allotted time, mm-hmm. same scenarios. See who comes out higher grade. My burp just smelled like my armpits after I don't bathe. And it's because you eat six hour beef gristle that was stuck in your gums. That's normal, bro. Dude. That's like saying, I. Eat, no, listen to me! That's like eating a burger. That's like eating a burger, right? Yeah. You swallow half of what's in your mouth and you keep the other wadded here for six hours. I know it's hard, but think about it. And you keep it there. And then you just swallow it six hours later. That's that would be. I would literally vomit. That would be more impressive than anything. That would be remarkable that someone could keep that in there. And I just did that with my tooth for three hundred. The beef jerky stuck in my tooth. That would be. The, that's the same three hundred six. Listen, that's the same thing I would do. That's the same thing I did with the beef jerky in my tooth. It's not because you didn't keep it there intentionally. I'm just saying it's the same premise. You're gonna keep doing this on this ep- on this podcast. If I eat a cookie, if I eat a said Oreo, right? Yes. You all get the the black up here on your molars from eating Oreos because mm-hmm. you're. <laughs> I eat the Oreo if I meet. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. That's disgusting. Do not do that again. Hell no. Get that away from me. Don't you dare say how much. No. That's disgusting. You look crazy. That's. Dude, they see you do this. Do you understand that? What the hell was that? Did you have a that's so Raven moment? What was that? Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, his is a real. He literally went. He was sitting here. And then you went. What? <laughs> And like came back to us. Like my you were contact, gone. my contact got inside out. <laughs> you wouldn't understand because I you, wouldn't. I don't have. You contact. got LASIK. I, no, I don't. Ooh, my name's Cam. I lie about my surgery procedures. I never had surgery. I just. <laughs> You're a liar. I have 20/20 vision. No goggles. No glasses. No rec specs. No contacts. No LASIK. Ooh, my name's Cam. I'm just better than everything that's ever touched God's green earth. Ooh, my name's Peyton. I had to have many telescopes on my eyes just to play recreational sports when I was young. Ooh, Ooh my name's Cam, and I had to I had to sit out some weeks because I have to get a hip replacement surgery at the age of 19 because I'm built bad. I did not get surgery. Get those nasty, sweat-ridden paws off me. Are you grabbing my hips now, huh? Sit down. Oh, they're, they're not that bad. That's such a... That's so bad of you. You know that? That's so, that's so unfair. That's not fair. Oh. All right. All right. The rest of this episode, pick on Cam. Okay. Cool. I've been doing that for 50 weeks. 50 weeks, Cam. 50. I've never done what you've done. I've never done what you've done to me today. What the hell was that? Back to the Oreos. I'm cooking with fucking grease right now. You are. Your foot's in the pot. You're flipping. That snotty ass nose. Ugh. You, at least I'm, I'm, I, my hygiene's on point. Yours is not. No, mine just has a quicker update time. Do it more. Quicker update. You For s- me to not smell better, I have to shower every 34 minutes. <laughs> I sweat so much. Ah! <laughs> Why do people watch this shit? <laughs> well, I swear we're going to have a normal conversation here in a second. I hope I didn't unplug it. Is it still working? Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, that really hurt. That was sharp. Why'd you do it? That I didn't. I was laughing. I put my head. I tried to rest it here. I missed. Hit this sharp thing. Screw you, sharp thing. Don't ever do that. He's dusty. Look at the top. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, you probably like that though, huh? Six hour dust, six hour beef. <laughs> you're, you're sick, bro. You want to go there? You're sick. You want to keep going? You're like a character. Oh, which one? Bravo, Johnny? Superman? Batman? Why are you saying it like that? What the hell is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Shoes? <laughs> what? Oh, God. It's going to be that if He's off. The, I, I promise you, he's only had one Red Bull. He has not had the magical Starbucks drink. He's only had one Red Bull. Now he's going for a second. 
Okay, now he's on the second one. Back to the Oreos. If you consume or Why'd you just blow on the on the Red Bull? It's too spicy. It's too spicy. Yeah, you know, whenever you get a carbonate, you get a carbonated drink. And Don't it's, it's, owe him yeah. like that makes it. No, he's told us that. Yeah, yeah. He's told us that he said that he. Hey, you with his coke? I, the day he stayed with us with the um, snowstorm. Yes, and he literally sat there waiting for his coke to. Like, yes, down. you got. So whenever you open a drink and it, it's carbonated, it's too spicy on the tongue. So you got to like blow on it to cool it down a little bit, or just leave it open for four and a half hours to cool it down. <laughs> yeah, got to like desizzle it. D sizzle. You're the D sizzler now. No, but it's it's harsh on my tongue. Define that. It's harsh on my tongue and my teeth. You're drinking red. But you're yeah. You definitely have cavities. You no no. Go to a dentist. I haven't gone to a dentist in six years. I know. You, that's God. That's so bad. This scares me. D sizzle is what you just said. Yeah, you know. D sizzle a drink. Take a bite. I'm not chewing anything. It's a drink. No, but if it's too spicy, you do have to go calm down the bubbles. You know what I mean? You just blew on a Red Bull, and you're you're trying to uh, to defend yeah. that. Yeah, it it's hisses at you. That's when you know it's spicy. When you open it, it goes. That's just called carbonation. It's spicy. It's not hissing at you. You're personifying your drink. It's not hissing. It's carbonation. That's to calm it down. Normally, what I do. No, shut up. Okay. There's no no. You just blew on a Red Bull. Spicy. It's not <sighs> spicy. You know it's what I drink. mean. No, you do. So you're meaning to tell you're you're trying to tell me you're trying to flatten it. De sizzle. That's what I meant when you said that. That's Bro, what I meant what? to say. Who, who does this? Every time. Why? Every time I get a, a carbonated drink like at home in the two liters, I open up the thing and just leave it there hour and a half, maybe forty five minutes if I'm we're in a rush. The sick part is I've seen you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost blew a blew a damn cas a gasket when you did that. Where is the gasket? No, it's the same thing with talking. Shut up. Okay. You blew on your drink. Yes. We're not leaving that. Okay. That's not a thing. What do you mean? That sounds like my sister told me when I was younger to de to uh to uh get all the bubbles off a of coke when you pour it, mm -hmm. swipe your nose, get nose grease, put it in your glass. That's witchcraft. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> that's witchcraft. No, it's science. That's witchcraft. No, it's not. No, yes. You blew on a drink. No, yeah. It's same thing with Takis. You blew on it. Same thing with Takis. You open them up and you just let them marinate, and if they're stale, they're less spicy. What is it marinating in? The air. Bro, you. You're gonna, you're really, dude, you just, you rubbed me the wrong way. I can rub you the right way. <laughs> you need to relax. So you're on something. You are <laughs> on something. Episode 50, baby. It is episode 50, half of a century. Ha! <laughs> Sorry. That was, that was. Miss me high, hit me low. You went way too quick. Yes, yeah, sorry. The, your aerodynamic arm picked up in the wind. Don't. <laughs> Everybody try it. Whenever Honestly, you, to hell with the Oreos. When you get a carbonated drink. To hell with the Oreos. When you get a car Don't try that. I'm telling you right now. Don't try that. When you get a carbonated drink, just blow, don't do it. blow on it. Shut Don't do it. And it'll make it calmer. Don't do it. Just de-sizzle your beverage. This comes from the same guy that says, oh. Mm. What do I say? No, say, it. Can't say, say it. Say it. I'll yeah. believe it. Say it. Can't say it. Say it. No. No. Because you didn't say it, but you agreed to it. And uh. now you don't eat it because of that. This guy doesn't like avocado. Oh no, gross beverage. A drink, food. Oh shit. He has the zoomies. He has a full blown case of zoomies. Can I do the whole episode right here with you? No. Get away. There's let me sit right here. Let me sit, sit by right you. where? Let me sit by you. Get away. Okay, just let me get down. Then get out. I can't, I'm stuck. I feel like I got you hips. You're oh me hips? You look like a pretzel. Go sit down. You think I can somersault? You're contorted. You're going to snap that couch in half. You're going to snap that couch in half. Did you just try to pin drop? <laughs> All right. I'll be normal. I'll be normal. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. People hate us. No. Me. Yeah. <laughs> to hell with Oreos. I'm okay, yeah. I'm yeah, simply yeah, not yeah, I didn't care it. anyway. I think this would be a perfect time for her. No. I went to home. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It doesn't do anything. That's which. Well, it's been open for four hours.
It's been open for about 12 minutes. I went to Home Depot today because I went and built, I bought a desk for, so I could have an office here. And whenever you, you move in here, you'll get it. You'll, you'll have your office. coming soon. So I got a desk and as we know, I'm not the best with reading or instructions or anything Brain with my usage. hands. Thank you for adding on hips. So I, so <laughs> you're on one today. So they gave me, they gave me a, a one bag, right? One bag. Of what? Well, that's where I continue to speak. <laughs> Why would you keep repeating it? I hate when this shit happens. I hate when this happens, bro. Because normally I'm the one that can hold it down and keep the composure. But your delusion. It seems to me to stop saying that. Stop saying that. I'm not okay. I know you're not. I know you're not. I know you're not. I know you're not. Oh, oh my. You need help. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. I, I have to no. throw up. <laughs> uh, so they get so That's disgusting. Uh, Wipe your hand. It is. You want to touch it? Get away. No. So, Holy hell. Oh, dude, it feels like I'm I just getting pregnant. So what? Let me finish. So. They gave me, they gave me a bag of bolts and nuts, nuts and bolts. So this is the confusing part, right? They gave me a bag of nuts. Stop talking. So they gave me a bag of nuts and bolts, and they were all different sizes. They had little mini thick ones, skinny thick ones, and the long thick ones. Long skinny ones too. There's so many. There's so many shapes and sizes to these bolts, and they gave me a screwdriver. I had to assemble, assemble myself in one sheet of paper. That, in one sheet of paper, the people are they're not enjoying this. Oh God. Look, it, look at my right eye. Look at your wet. Look at my right eye. <laughs> you look at your allergies. So, anyway, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. So they gave me a bag full of nuts and bolts, all different sizes, and they had a, a screwdriver in it, and I had to assemble the screwdriver itself. Then they gave me one sheet of paper. That, stop. They gave me one piece of paper that had all these instructions on it, and I had to figure out how to assemble this desk all by myself. Now I'm not good with instructions. I'm not paying attention to you because we have to talk about something, bro. We have to talk about something. So they. And so I was like, okay, let me assemble this this um, desk. Moral of the story is I plugged in all the bolts and nuts to the wrong holes. The desk is all wobbly. And I and so I just ended up with I ended up with a, a completed semi completed desk that was wobbly that had some things missing. And it was one of the biggest parts to connect the leg to, to the top. And I was missing those those bolts. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'll just buy the bolts at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. I drove to the Home Depot. I haven't spent a lot of time there. And I think No the, one does. I think the people well, Narnia. Oh no no no. Yeah. My dad loves going to Home Depot. Lowe's is better. Um so I went to the Home Depot. I think the people in there could tell that I didn't know what I was doing because the painting section, they had lights and they had whole kitchens and showers in there. Yeah. It felt like a movie set. Great store. It smells pretty good. Great establishment. So I was like, you know Lose what? Better. I'm going to I'm gonna not, you know, be prideful in here. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm going to let it be known what I'm doing. A good man. I went to this old gray man <laughs> who had a orange vest on. Why do I feel like every Home Depot worker... Is either like a 38 year old woman or an old gray man? Yeah, exactly. 100%. And they had the they have the thing going on. They had like a whole airline thing in there. Like <coughs> they had this uh, older woman woman, and oh, she dude. had red red flags, and she was steering Short. this construction thing through. It was awesome, um, and it was making a loud noise, and it beeped at me. It was awesome. <laughs> so, shit, this story sucks. <laughs> so. No, no, keep going. Uh, I need to get these nuts and bolts, but I knew the increment sizes of them because it said it on the instruction sheet. So uh, I went up to the lad and I said, "Excuse me, sir, I need, I need, uh, I need screws." And he said, "What kind?" And I said, "Well, I'm building a desk." And he said, "So you, so you, do you know if it's drywall bolts?" This kind of bolts, this kind of bolts. I said, sir, to be honest I need with this you, length bolts. I had no idea there were that many kinds of nuts and bolts. He was like, "Well, go to the uh, nuts and bolts section, and it should be in there." I was like, okay, that should be semi-easy. I go to the nuts and bolts section. I've never seen so many nuts and bolts. Thousands of nuts and bolts, shapes, sizes, brands, colors. 
links, mm. all kinds. And I said, no, no. I said, sir, come back. He goes, rolls his eyes at me. He's tired of me at this point. Or he hates his he job. Rolled his eyes? He's a, he comes over. Hey, and I said, buddy. I need an eight by 70 something millimeter bolt. And he goes, okay, uh, is it, he asked me like one more question. I said, sir, any question you have, I will not know the answer to. That's for you to tell me. You know what he says to me? He's like, oh, you don't know shit about nothing, do you? He said, you don't know shit about nothing. I said, that was so clever. I just said, all right, Alan, you know what, you want to know what? Tell me what you would do if someone played drop coverage on a pick and roll and you were down three and you needed to tie the game. <laughs> don't know shit about nothing. Yeah. All right, bud. Yeah. And I said, yeah, I don't. I'm sorry. And he just pointed the right ones to me. I took it back. Didn't fit. <laughs> That's why your desk is drooping. Oh, yeah. There's, I don't know if you've tri seen this. His desk is like this. It's like the legs are here. It comes and she goes. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. I, I don't know if you've looked under it. There's tape connecting some. That's a brand new desk. <laughs> I couldn't find the bolts. That's a brand new desk, and you have tape on it. But I, it works. Scotch so. or duck? Uh, the clear kind. It's duck. I think it's carpet. Carpet tape. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Carpet tape. Yeah. Define it. Tape for carpet. <laughs> <laughs> but why? It, it's brown, right? It's brown. You just said it was clear. <laughs> you just said it was clear. You just said it was clear. Is it clear or is it brown? <laughs> you suck. I'm starting to panic. So, yeah, that sucks. And then I was I was walking. The Home Depot is not in the nicest neighborhood around here. Mm -hmm. I was walking out, and I was wearing my Lululemon shorts, and they're they go right below the crotch, right? Mm -hmm. If I were to sit the wrong way, somebody would get a show. And it's they're they're high, and I got skinny legs. I look like a, a like a baby giraffe. Yeah, you look like say. Elliot from Open Season. <laughs> I don't want people to know who that. <laughs> and so uh, I was walking out, and there was this dude in a uh, in like a uh, 2003 Chrysler and he you could tell he spent all his money on the speaker system in there and it it reeked of marijuana oh lord and he's an older man I would refer to him as OG mm -hmm. do rag on cool dude he rolls he just is driving by me and he goes shorts too small young blood <laughs> just keeps going didn't even wait for my response <laughs> that's all he said <laughs> car's too old OG what the f you say <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine that. I just get embarrassed by Alan in the Home Depot. And you don't know shit about nothing. You're walking out all sad but semi-happy because you got the bolts. Shorts too small, young blood. <laughs> Golly. It was a, it was a That's terrible. a rough trip. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was bad. Holy hell. You're itching? It bad. You need to bathe. Sometimes it's my... Never mind. You need to bathe. You want to do a new segment? New segment. Not new. Pop culture, Peyton and Cam. Camp. Pop, Pop culture, Peyton and Cam. Doom, doom. Boom. Oh my God, bro! I feel like I'm breaking down, bro. This sounded like a like a Molotov, it's like hit the ground and went just like sharp at the beginning. Went. I just stepped on a frog. That's it. No, hell no. Uh, That's from your rear end. You need to close it. Uh, you first or me first? You first. Me first. Mm -hmm. One or two? One. Ah, okay. You got the better one. Yep. First thing on pop culture with Peyton Nick Ham. Damn, damn. This week. <laughs> Oh, did you read the comment that said, Yes. Please never burp again. I was eating breakfast. Yeah, I'm so sorry. And it just happened again. I forgot about it. I'm sorry. Um, Here goes another one, though. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't even drink. There's caffeine in your beard. <laughs> There's caffeine in your beard. Go. Okay. First thing. Pop culture. Peyton and Cam. Episode 50. <laughs> Creed. Creed 3. Coming to theaters very soon. Michael B. Jordan, he uh, recently got his Hollywood Star of Fame. Walk of Fame. Star. Walk of Fame star. Screw star you. On walk of fame. Star on the Walk of Fame. You're a dirtbag. How about that? He recently got that this past week. Uh, shout out to him. Speaking I of dirtbag, his star is going to be real dirty real quick. There's no, there wasn't a single polished star there. However, it's still very cool. He got his own little plaque. Creed 3. Are you a Creed guy? Did you like 1 and 2? I'm trying to be careful with what I say. Rocky shouldn't be in there. I agree. Yeah. But I like the plots of Creed. Don't like the acting. There is a... Now, I'm not going to say how I feel about this. There is a popular sentiment going around that says Michael B. Jordan cannot act. That's why he has very few lines in every movie he's in. Oh, don't talk about my man. 
Oh, your man? <laughs> your man live? All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're very mature in our relationship. We can both agree on when a male or female looks good with each other. And he's very good looking. Okay, whatever. She likes <laughs> she likes him, not me. She doesn't like my hip. Y'all anyway. look the same. <laughs> okay, so uh, Creed 3 is coming out. I'm a fan <laughs> of all action movies, pretty much. Huge fan of the whole Rocky series. So when the first Creed dropped, of course I watched that. Creed 2, it was decent. I liked it. I, I genuinely like how he lost and had to come back. I hate when, like, movies... Every oh, this sucks? No, huh? You could care less? It's huh? your segment. All right, T.I. It's your segment. This isn't my segment. This is my turn. Exactly. In our segment. <laughs> go, Yikes. Go focus, Labrador brain. You got you got three more. Oh, I'm wobbling. So uh, I really do like. I really do like how he lost. I hate when movies just everything goes good the whole time. That's not life. But uh, yes, Creed three coming out very soon. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. All the ladies love him. All the guys despise him. Just kidding. I like him. I like him too. There's nothing wrong with the guy. But you just said he can't act. So anyway, I did not first. say that. I said that's a popular uh, sentiment. Peyton said Michael B. Jordan can't act. Clip it. Clip Put it. it on send the it. News. Send it. Everything. No, I'm just kidding. But excited for Creed three. Whenever it comes out, we'll definitely be seeing that. Giving our little review. Yep. You swallowed that. That's gross. But your turn. Go. The weekend is uh, so we, as you know, uh, a few months ago, a, a lovely fan, um, Alexis, bought me and Cam uh, tickets to the weekend, and that literally is probably one of the best gifts I've ever gotten in my life because I love the weekend, and I would have never been able to afford those tickets, especially bringing uh, my friend along, and it was the best show I've ever seen in my life. Beautiful acoustics beautiful movie now on february 25th he put out a movie version because we were thinking when we were watching the uh the live show like this has to be put into a movie there was like side screens where it was like it was you know like any sporting event there's the live thing and then there's like a jumbotron or so this is an at t stadium so there's tons of screens they put more screens out there on the on the uh the set but like the footage on the screen it was like 8k mm -hmm. like it didn't look like live footage i was like dude that looks like a film like yeah. we were, we kept saying it as it was happening we we're like dude this is insane and we literally said the night of you know i wouldn't be surprised if they turned this into a movie or something yeah and so on february 25th on hbo they released the movie version that was filmed at sofi stadium or the live concert that's filmed at sofi stadium then this today on abel's the weekend's instagram <clears throat> he um announced that the audio version of the live show is going to be released as an album and uh it's already going to be out by the time y'all see this so and um sonically that show was amazing too alone again oh uh, oh or yeah alone again. all the transitions alone. alone again yeah all the transitions just the live version of the so call my good. name it's just oh gonna be i cannot wait to listen to that tonight yeah it's gonna be insane y'all have already heard it yeah. so yeah um that's it for pop culture. So good. That's it with for pop culture, Peyton and Cam. Pop culture, Peyton and Cam. Ow! The You Should Know Podcast. I got a question for you. I love these. Okay. If we had a magic box right in front of us, yep. it could restore and bring back any inanimate object you've ever lost in your life, what would you choose? I don't lose much. What does that mean? I, I keep a everything. What are you saying? You keep everything? Like, if you were to go into my shower right now, there's like 17 bottles of anti-body wash in there. <laughs> That's a problem. No. That, that could be diagnosed. No, no. That could be diagnosed. And if you, if you go in my pantry right now, there's like 30 empty cereal boxes. I just don't like to throw things away. Like, What are you, a hoarder? No, no, no. Hoarding That's Harry? That <laughs> Harry the hoarder? What are you doing? That's excessive a term. I just like to keep it for there. Henry the historic <laughs> hoarder. That's who you are. That's like, oh my, oh my God! No, you did have that that decrepit bowl of cookie dough dip in your. Oh my God, Peyton, we had a, a the first Sunday of NFL football. We we all got together, and made like finger foods and stuff. We made a cookie dough dip. This man had that bowl of dip in his fridge last week. I just have a hard time letting things go. I almost threw up, dude. That thing was archaic, like it was fossilized. <laughs> You could take a spoon, the spoon would bend if you went to dip into that. No, that's why I like it. It literally went <laughs> and just bent. That's why I keep old playing cards. The same thing with body what wash. What the hell? Old? What is that? that? How is that the same thing because as body wash? Because what if like, thing in like 2073, that bottle of soap's not going to look the same. So I'll have them all. 
Henry the Henry the historic hoarder. No. What is your problem? No, but think about my th thing. Think about my. No. So you ever go to your grandma's house and then she has like old like Kellogg's in there and you're like, wow, that's so crazy. That's from like the Pendigree to the War. No. People. My gonna, grandma throws away boxes. But okay, then. But she's not gonna make money like that. You're not either. No, think. I got, Someone's gonna buy your empty Applejack box. I still have the Reese's Puffs box when he was like Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. I peanut butter, butter chocolate, chocolate flavor. flavor. And exactly, I still have that box. Doesn't that mean something? You're to gonna you? sell it on eBay? No, but for my that kids. means nothing to me. You're sounding a lot like Lisa. You should keep that snot rag. Your your kids would love to see exactly. that. Exactly. I like I I have my first pillow ever still. Ever. I still have it. It's in a closet though. I don't bring it out for show and tell, but I have it. If you did, we'd fight. <laughs> if you did, I don't know. We'd be on episode 50 right now. If I came to your place of sleep yes. and you showed me your first pillow yes. in your existence, yes. we'd fight. I have a box in my in my parents' home of high school memorabilia. That's different. That's high school memorabilia. That's Same thing with Reese's Plus Box. Your first pillow ever? You didn't even know what a pillow was. You couldn't spell pillow. You didn't know how you used it. You didn't know why it was there. But if you sniff it now, you're like, that's childhood. You're sick. You That's smell creepy. your childhood. You That's don't want to smell your childhood you at home. Be, you could be diagnosed right now. No. Yes. You're being excessive. Yes. You could. You're yes. Being, you're being excessive with me. You're being excessive with yourself. No. You have 16 bottles of body wash in your shower, and they are empty. How the hell do you have that much shelvage in your shower, first off? Why do you have you just, that much shelf space in a shower? You just buy new shelves to put more soap boxes on it. You buy new shelves. Yes. You need to be smacked. You need common sense whacked right into you. No, I think that's sentimental. Sentimental? It, you have relics in your home. You're living in 2023 and you have artifacts. Look, I have- I, From the Babylonian Empire. Do you remember in, in college we had we found wristbands that were matching? I still have mine. Do you have yours? If I did, I'd burn it. <laughs> I would burn it just to take a it small- my feelings. It should. Why? Why? Like, I don't throw away like- You have cedar oak and-, and Mm, this one in, in citrus timber. You ever mess up on your Landry and then your shirts are too small? I don't throw it away because I want to remember that day I messed up that Landry. The, the only too small of a shirt I have right now is is something mem like memory-wise. Everything is memorable. Everything means something. If it touched your hands, it means something. I think it's cute. I think it's I think it's clinically diagnosable. The cookie dip was five months old. Because that wasn't my that bowl. That thing had its own microbiome in there. There was probably species unheard of living in that thing. No, because that wasn't my bowl. That's why I kept that one. If you took a Petri dish and scooped some of that out, you could become a millionaire. The, prop, the cure to cancer was in that bowl. That's why I have cancer was in that bowl. Oh, that's why. Now you're a scientist. No, but you're you, a physician but scientist. You, never know you what, work on, on part-times in your lab. You never know what something could mean later. You, you ever throw something away and be like, I wish I kept that. I'll never have that problem because I kept it. Have you ever opened my glove compartment? Oh, my God. It's every, a mess. Every receipt I've ever owned. You, have like a, you literally have like a book receipt from Juco. And I'm like, no. what are you going to do with that? What, do you still have the book? No. Are you going to go back, contact him? Hey, can I get a refund on? No, but think, but think the book's going to change Porter. over time. The book's gonna Hoarding Henry. <laughs> the book's gonna change over time. You're never gonna need it again. But what if you're never gonna be in comp two ever but, again? But what if somebody will need it? Oh, you're gonna help them. You're the yes. the community outreach program to give them your book receipt, which by the way doesn't include the book. I have my first, I have the movie ticket from Star Wars: The Force Awakens. I had that for a while too. It was a fantastic film. What's the difference in having a Reese's Puff Box? Because that though okay. Point proven. You have decrepit food. That's crazy. Look at you. That's the agony from the inside. No, my drawers are swallowing me up. I need to get new panties. <laughs> I know. I, new panties. Oh, you're going to take them shopping for panties? <laughs> you know what I thought about that's gross? What? We have a woman in the audience, so she can help with this. I kind of want to get her on the mic for this. But... Um... We'll see how this goes. Um, I was thinking. I, w I walked into the Victoria's Secret the other day. And 
You know how men's underwear comes in like packaging and like like vacuum sealed that like you have to open yeah. it. There's just loosey goosey. Women's like underwear in the store treat. is like in a drawer and you just pick it up and there's hands all over it and yeah. nasty stuff. And can't you try it on? Someone literally could have licked like this freak their beef jerky. <sighs> Suck their digits, go in there, thumb some panties, pick them all up. Ooh, too small. I can't make these work. And then put it back put in it the back drawer, down. and then now and that's you on your it body. It's all dangly, bacon collared panties. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't if you someone goes in that? and tries it on, oh, are you, allowed, are you allowed to try on? Yes, you can. Are you allowed to try on? They have fitting rooms. I don't know. They I have, have fitting rooms. They do have fitting rooms, but that's. What's it for Victoria's Secret? What are you fitting on other than panties and. You can probably try on the panties too. You, I, I've never tried let's just talk about the bra. I personally, someone puts their nips on merchandise. It needs to be purchased or burned. No, because you can try on shirts. Shirts is fine. Bras. It's the same like, thing. It's same on the thing. Nips. What if someone has nipple discharge? They go on and try yours. You pick it up. And now there's goo and but cottage. But that's the same thing with a shirt. Okay, you go up and pick up a bra and there's cottage cheese on it. You want that? You're gonna buy that? No, I'm saying same thing with a shirt though. You with your, especially with your nips. That it, what's wrong with my nips? You don't have pretty nips. I have translucent nipples. You got avatar. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, you like them, don't you? You got avatar nipples. <laughs> oh, shit. What does that even mean, avatar nipples? Oh, they're creature-like. What the hell was? Oh, the tail. <laughs> my nipples are normal. <laughs> my nipples you are normal. You got alien nips. My nipples are normal. My nipples are no. Oh no! Now it's no. <laughs> no, you do got. Way to defend me. You got strange nips. They're normal. <laughs> My hole right here gets hairy. <laughs> I shave it. Normal nips. No, that sometimes that's why whenever you're shirtless, I don't like to look at you because I make eye contact with them too much. What the hell does that mean? It's like we're having a conversation. Me and your nips. Your, your hairs go like up. Yeah, it's because when I first started shaving, I shaved up, so now they're like. Like pointed, the hair grain is upward. Bad oh, move. If you're gonna shave your chest, always shave down so oh. it'll lay flat. I'll give you that, but my nipples are normal. No, but I'm saying I personally know a girl personally that has tried on panties at a store. That's sick. I, I don't understand why in the <laughs> store that that is even allowed. Yeah, that's disgust. Why are they in a drawer? Yeah, why are like they someone's living here and it's a garage sale? Yeah, why aren't they vacuum they sealed? They need to be vacuum sealed away from environment, I'm not away from sticky sorry. fingers. Think about it, if you go anywhere, that's how girls' panties are. That's sick. Disgusting. JC Penney's, Target, all of our panties are different colors. Yeah. Why are they in a drawer? Because they're like, oh, this is the color that we have in our drawer. Yeah. Like, we don't have to wear it. Put them in a 12 pack like we do our Calvin Klein's. Yeah. There's some like that if you want to buy a pack, but sometimes. You Thomas. Boy shorts, cheeksters. Okay, that makes sense. But uh, there's different variety. There's boxers, boxer briefs. There's uh like speedo type. There's different ones of those. I, and they're all vacuum sealed, the airtight. Okay, but the thing, I'll give the defense to them. I won't. But the, there's like women's panties are so many different varieties. Some yeah. of them are super skinny, and so the fit is going to be w w wider. But as it is with male underwear. No, there's just boxers. There's different types. Boxers, briefs, but speedo I've type. But I've bought boxer briefs. In Tommy, boxer briefs in Calvin, they fit different. They 100% fit yeah, different. But we're yeah, but it's I a guess. different make. No, but that's not, it's. I understand the panties thing. You need to like look up, see if it yeah. would work, see how big the, the band is, yeah. if you want it thick, whatever. Like yeah. if you want like granny panties for comfort, if you need a thong, whatever the case may be. But it's like, it's the same in our thing. Mm. It's the exact same, but they just close ours. But I went to Ross the other day. I haven't been to Ross in a while. I went to Ross the other day, and they had men's draws on a on hanger. A hanger. Yo, that's that sick. is sick that's behavior. Sick, bro. That is sick behavior. That's really gross. You ever like, smell the shoes in the in the in in stores before you put them on, just to check? No. Okay, me neither. Then. You, there's so many. No, but there's you, so many intricacies of your life to check at the wear and tear. It's like. <laughs> you just get a quick little whiff. It's You're not like if indulging. You just, if you if you were building a human being. <laughs> And you took all of your, like, it would overload. Like, their their motherboard physically couldn't handle all of your intricacies thrown onto it. It would fry. The chip would fry. No. So that's why you're such an amazing creature. It's like science, though, because, you know, in science class, they tell you not no, to... No, you are science. Listen, to, to not sniff directly, and you waft, waft it. I just waft the shoe. Why are you sniffing? Why are you sniffing sneakers? I like to sniff anything why before I... Why are you sniffing sneakers? I like to sniff anything before I indulge. That's safety. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. 
You could sniff a shoe. You don't smell anything. You put it in there. There's still a nail stick straight through your foot. You can smell nails. It smells like pennies. You ever eat pennies as a kid? No, but when you smell pennies, it tastes like blood. T try, try tasting them. Taste a penny. You, you ne okay, as a kid, you never put a quarter in your mouth? You didn't have a curiosity bone as a kid. Uh, apparently, I had a clean mouth. And that doesn't make you dirty. You're sucking on copper. It was shiny. It wasn't one of the gummy, gritty ones. You're sitting there ones. sucking on Abe Lincoln. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, when you never saw a penny, a shiny penny, and you're like, I just won. Pick no. it up and bite it. No. No, you don't bite it. Are you weird? That's hard on your teeth. You just suck on it. Like a Jolly Ranch. What are you, like an orc or something? Well, I don't know what that creature is. What, what is an orc? From Lord of the Rings. <laughs> How do you not know Lord of the Rings, but you know what copper tastes like? You Because yeah, I can taste copper. I can't taste Lord of the Rings. You can watch it. And it makes you much more normal. You've never... Movie. Okay, you've never had the thought of like, I want to see what that tastes like for a penny. Or maybe a... Shut... Top? No. <laughs> shut up. Cam. You're acting like I'm the weird one. Have you ever done with nails? You ever put a nail in your mouth? No, that would hurt. I don't want to hurt myself. I just am curious. Bro. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. Say, I need you to... <laughs> I am fighting. I am fighting. Holding myself back from you. I don't want you to. I want to talk. No, no. It, it wouldn't be talk. It would be physical altercation. <laughs> How are you not... I never put a coin in my mouth. <laughs> I've never put a coin in my mouth. Ever. But why? I can ask you the same thing. Why? Curiosity. Curiosity. That's sick. That's the same thing. I, you eat Play-Doh as a kid. Glue. Play-Doh looked good. Coins, coins shiny. Coins looked like metal. Coin shiny. I want. Play-Doh looked like dough. Eat. Coin look hard. Hurt. No. <laughs> okay. Why do you think you need to bite everything, teeth man? You just suck on it. Like a good slushy. You just swish it around. You're sick. No, I'm curious. I don't do it as a First joke. off, I don't care how shiny it is. If it's laying on pavement, you just you just put 10, 000, 10 million different things. Bacteria I have respect for myself. I would wait for it's on a countertop or something. Like you ever go to it like at a Denny's as a kid and your parents take you? Ooh, penny Dude, Denny's. mouth now. Denny's is fire. No, <gasps> no. Why? Why? Curiosity. Exactly. No. Somebody in the comments you do right, it right now. Is, do it right I don't now. have a coin. A, no, wait, I told you point. as an adult, I don't do it. Oh, but okay. as a kid, why? Then let's 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 dive into I'm that. Not, why? Because you realize that's not rational and it's not good and it's yes, not. Yes, but I I have a formed brain. At the time, kid, world was special to me. Now, dark, gloomy, sad. <laughs> world creepy. People hunt me. Back then, <laughs> yeah. sovereignty, well, peace, but wet all the time. <laughs> Anxious so much. I sleep hoodie, no pants. Back then, I sleep nothing, nowhere. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you know what I mean. No, whatever. Bro, I'm just that's, that's so you strange. You suck on change. I there's nothing. That's so else. strange to me that you weren't curious as a kid. I was curious. I was curious about other things. But what did you? What were I you, would have probably rather ate an ant, a physical ant, than put a coin in my mouth. You would rather eat an insect than put a penny in your mouth. Yeah, that's my curiosity. You're sick. You're nasty. This is another. It, I'm nasty. Yeah, king of the jungle, boy. You're sitting there sucking on five cents. You're sucking nickels. <laughs> You're sucking nickels, and I have the curiosity of the animal planet that I look at a little ant. Let's see, I can put that in my mouth and talk how I was crazy and I ate a bug, get some street cred. No one's giving you any type of credit that's how you, for sucking on dimes. That's how you get put in special classes if you're eating animals and stuff as a kid. If someone looked at you biting a quarter, I you're, you're getting shipped to Alcatraz. You're not in public education anymore. I just sucked on pennies and dimes. I had quarters too big. You'd be, you'd be the change coin kid. Okay, but I had I can I can see you physically in a corner like this. <laughs> Put it in a satchel, like a like a weird dusty coin bag. I had going <laughs> three fourths portions, and you're trading your coins for like the lunch milk. But I had empathy as a kid to know that's oh chocolate milk and copper. Oh. I had empathy as a kid to know that's a living creature. I shouldn't put that in my mouth. Coin anybody free game. You practice kung fu by yourself. No, I was in karate for one day. Kid made me bleed. I quit. <laughs> I'm about to pass out. You need you need sustenance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna Sonic and I'm gonna a, a large double patty. See, you're welcome. Yeah. Double patty onion bacon wings, burger, burger, large onion wings, large large onion wings, large, onion onion wings, wings, large fry, fry, large, large diet coke, coke, easy eyes. Easy eyes. Go back. But I do have some food for us. Go back and make. Kim, I got a surprise for you. You're no. We haven't done a taste test on the podcast in a while. A fan sent us something. To try. It was actually co-host Reed. 
and Kristen, they sent food over for us to try. Um, you have a very small window of opportunity. Need I remind you, I tried the world's hottest chip and you lied to me. I was physically in pain for half an hour. Okay, uh, I'm gonna twist it up in the panty region. Yeah, sorry. you look. Yeah. <laughs> the panty region is sick. Last time with the hot chip. Oh no, no. I bamboozled you. You did. This time, I'm gonna do this with you. In my hand You're right now. In my hand right now, I got the world's hottest gummy bear. No, 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 no. We're gonna eat no. it on the podcast. Right no. Now. Its name is Its name is Lil Nitro. It's I'm slightly excited because you will be doing I am I am no. sniffing, grabbing every gummy bear. I am touching both of them. I'm physically not doing this until I know. That's gonna be a red regular gum. No 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 no. You want to try? Oh you're ripping it in half? Yeah. There's only one. Give me the box. <gasps> It's so cute. How spicy could it actually be? <sighs> Lil Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear. Rip it in half. And you're taking the bigger half. This product is extremely spicy and has the potential... <sighs> this product is extremely spicy desk. and has the potential to cause skin or mouth irritation. <laughs> Lil Nitro is intended for adults only and should be kept out of reach of children and pets. Lil Nitro is not to be consumed by those... Little Nitro is not to be consumed by those with any heart or respiratory conditions. Oh, I have a respiratory condition. Consumer, beware. This is not your ordinary gummy bear. Bear. F bear. From Flamethrower Can... Flamethrower Candy Company comes the next experience for those who seek the heat. Little Nitro has been infused with our signature nine mi... How many Scovilles is in it, Cam? Nine... Million Scofill unit chili extract, making him 900 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. Oh, look at him. He's so cute, though. Do you dare try this fiery gummy bear? Here, Kim, look. Kim, look. I'm going to split it in half for both of us. Please don't cut yourself. God, you're not. <laughs> you're cutting towards yourself. You have no home ec skills. <laughs> you're getting that half. Okay. It's all over my hands. I cannot touch my face. This, bro... You can't touch your face. All right, I'm literally gonna go like this. I'm. I have to just. I can't. I can't do this. I'm gonna throw it straight back. The second you spit yours out, I'm spitting mine. All right, I'm. Ch I'm swallowing. I might just go straight for the pill swallow. No, you have to chew. Okay, ready? We, bro, we don't even have anything on set. Okay, it's ready. One, two, three. Show me your hand right now. Show me your hand. Oh my god. No. Oh. Oh. I saw it. I saw it. Is it bad for you? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Swallow it, bro. Swallow it. Okay. It's so much worse. I get it. You have to, please. So I can't. Ah. Uh. No. No. I, I bamboozled you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah! I need a drink, bro. Why? <laughs> ah! Will you give me a water, too? My lips are a little spicy from touching my hand. <laughs> ah! <laughs> bro, get the trash. What'd you do? Ah! Give me it! <laughs> Live! <laughs> My ears, bro! Get the trash can, bro. Get the trash can. Don't touch your face. 
Oh. It's over there by the door. Oh. Kim, you want another one? I have mine still. Oh. 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 Wait, step here. Oh. I'm so oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cam. <laughs> you need to burn it. Oh. Eat that right now. I can't. I can't. Uh. Oh, Cam, I'm so uh. sorry, bro. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Don't rub your eyes. Don't. My whole chest. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Give me more. Go get more water right now. Give me the water. <laughs> Pin down so the camera can see. Uh. Dude, I'm getting itchy. I touched uh. my face and it was on my hands. So I understand your pain. I understand your pain. My face is a little hot right now, too. I'm so sorry. It was just a little joke. Huh? What the fuck, bro? I can't. I'm never doing it. Ah! Hey. Ah! It's like a little bird. Like, ah! Water! <laughs> Get it! I'm not kidding. Live! I'm I'm so sorry. Hurry! Kev, you're being a little extra. I'm so sorry, bro. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't feel good about this. I'm so sorry. Yeah, shout out to co-host Reed. Oh, my God. It's in my nose, bro. Okay. Should I close it? Should I close it? Oh, Lord. The podcast. Mm. Bro! I thought it was going to be easier than the hot chip. Because <laughs> it was a gummy. It was this big. Mm. I'm so sorry, Kev. I don't feel good about myself. Bro, if water's not in my mouth, I'm, I'm literally like... I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, here you go. Here's some more water. Bro, bro, bro. Actually, I need one for myself. It's a little hot in here. Oh, uh, bro, I'm not kidding. I'm so sorry. I'm not. I'm so sorry, Cam. I'm so sorry. Like, literally, if, okay, look, if water's not in my mouth, it's horrendous. Um, uh, uh, hey, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to this episode of the You Should Know podcast. Um, I'm sorry to Cam. Um, our new Snapchat show is available right now. Our new Snapchat is available right now. Uh, first link in the description. Um, Patreon still available. Mama Live episode two is available right now. Everybody, go uh, follow Coast Cam on Instagram. He just hit ten thousand, and uh, he and follow him for doing this, bro. As soon as the water's not in your mouth, it gets miserable. We love Coast Cam. I do feel bad. Yeah, I I thought it was gonna be easier than the hot chips. So I apologize, but um, go check out our episode on Under the Influence. <laughs> Shout out to the to the watch party shout out to patreon koala club we love you so much one out of ten koala bears don't make home oh the secret code is uh co-host cam chc for him being a, a brave mm. soldier think what he does for y'all i love y'all so much uh one out of ten koala bears don't make home to christmas and hopefully co-host cam is here next week and he doesn't quit i love y'all so much see you next time